Hello my dear friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video I will show you my whips. Also you will see a new start and a uh, few finishes. So <laughs> let's start from my smallest whip. This is Mill Hill. Uh, this was a new design when I purchased it in Las Vegas again. <laughs> No, 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 I did not. I was in Las Vegas. I saw that new design. I wanted to buy it, but I already got one mill heel and I said to myself, no more mill heel till I stitch one. And then, yes, then I got it in Ukraine back in 2021. So this is my progress and it's not uh, much because I'm stitching it um, when I have free time somewhere outside of my house. I don't stitch it at home. Uh, usually when I'm traveling or I'm visiting some friends or, I don't know, um, or when I'm volunteering at the Ukrainian center. So I do it slowly, slowly, but you never know in one year it could be done. <laughs> no, no, I, I plan to finish it um, before Halloween because this is design I would like to have. I will probably frame it in my other frame, uh, which I can't remember I showed it or not. But um, yeah, so my little progress, I'm not gonna stop on it uh, for long because you have seen it before and it's not much to show you anyways. So my second whip, let me put it back. You know, previously I was uh, making videos and it was really difficult for me to make it in English because <laughs> this is not my language, but now I make videos in Ukrainian and it's even more difficult than in English. Even I've heard Ukrainian language all my life, but... Oh, anyways, I just need some practice, which I don't have much, but slowly, slowly. So this is my another whip, which I forgot to show you in my previous video, but uh, I have been stitched it um, in winter time. Um, don't wanna say the name of this icon, unfortunately, but you can see it and you understand why I don't want to say it. Uh, this uh, design I started in also in 2021 and I'm stitching it slowly because for this kind of designs I need to have mood or I don't know, all icons I stitch either slowly, slowly or quickly, quickly. <laughs> The job is going fast when I don't think about it and sometimes I just like okay it's time to stitch my icon but it's completely different experience than I'm stitching let's say Mirabilia's or Lanarte or Dimensions or Emil Hill. Um, if other companies, other designs I stitch pretty much the same so icons I, I need to have mood, I have I don't know a kind of meditation while I'm stitching and um, Sometimes I just don't want to put it down and sometimes I stitch very slowly. But the main thing that all the icons from Thea Gouverneur, they are very, very hard to stitch uh, because of lots of um, thread changes, lots of confetti. But uh, this one looks like she is one of the easiest to me. But it's only my third icon and um, yeah, I'm really happy with the result. I like the way it goes. The thing is, the threads here are really uncomfortable. They are not uh, DMC I usually uh, stitching before with the metallic thread I'm talking about. They are um, basically I take 20 centimeters of the thread, I stitch 10 and I throw it, to, the rest I throw away. And uh, it's really annoying, but it is what it is. The, some some uh, kids, they have this uh, metallic, which is difficult to stitch with. I don't know why they're using it. Maybe they don't know people uh, really struggle uh, with, the, with those threads, but um, yeah. So I'll show you next whip is Lanarte. I make videos this <laughs> time very fast because I little bit screw up with uh, editings and uh, part of my video uh, disappear or I delete it, I don't know. And I upload a video and something I did not like it and I um, remove it from my channel. So if you watch it before, I'm very sorry. And this video, 
a bit different because I stitch a bit and uh, not every single day I have time to make a video and uh, yeah so today I plan to stitch a bit more if I will have a chance but we'll see because editing takes my time as well and all the preparation for the video you know uh, put uh, everything back and I need to have time when I'm alone and um, so if you remember my uh, other whip, I show you in previous video. This is blue Gotrangia and uh, this is out of print kit. I'm very sorry for those who really love this design and can't uh, get it anymore, but I think it's still possible to find it on European eBay. So uh, just check it there. I honestly don't know how it works. Maybe you have to put eBay.de de which is a german ebay i think from there people find it much easier and um, i got it in ukraine once again i will tell you in case you have not watched my previous video so i i stitch much more than you see on uh, hoops but um, i got a little bit bored with this design to be honest and uh, my mood was different at the beginning i thought i will stitch this design in two three weeks but then I was like stitching the background and I got so bored because it's all the same colors and um, I'm stitching, I'm stitching and I realize I do other stuff. Even I have time, but not stitching. <laughs> you know how it works. It means it's time to uh, get another whip. So I have, I got my Mirabilia <laughs> and it changed and now I enjoy it. A bit more so this design I still love I'm still planning to stitch the pair design it's with me now here but uh, in few days I will go to Ukraine and maybe I will bring uh, more uh, stuff from there especially um, threads and uh, cranic no cranic I have all here I don't have beads what else I have to bring from Ukraine? Maybe some kits, I will see, because I have to um, have maximum 25 kilo for my luggage. And uh, I don't want uh, to bring cross stitch only, <laughs> because obviously whatever I have now here, I'm not gonna be able to stitch all. But uh, the thing is, sometimes I just wanna stitch something which I don't have or new designs. And I know some designs I have in Ukraine, some kits especially, dimensions, and I uh, like, no, no, not anymore, because they're all huge and I need smaller designs. That's why I kind of started uh, little ones and uh, continue on the biggest. But it is what it is. I prefer to stitch than not to stitch at all. You understand? Like if I will take big design, let's say dimensions, and I stitch and I realize I don't want to do it and uh, I spend my time for nothing or I just scroll my news on um, Telegram. I don't like it and um, I, I prefer to stitch something new and have a result instead. So you will see my other part of the video and I come back to you shortly. And as always, I can't find the right time to make a video because it's a bit cloudy and it's gonna rain soon so uh, I guess this kind of videos I will have uh, on my channel but I might will bring my um, lamp so it will be better in the future but at, at the moment we have what we have so this is my finish from Mirabilia and you remember my struggles with her uh, with this Aphrodite where I started this um, design on my birthday and um, then I made mistakes, then I had um, some threads uh, run out and I ordered cranic, I ordered threads, then I found out that I stitch skin here <laughs> where it's supposed to be uh, crosses, but to be honest, I like uh, the way it's better. The way it is now, I like it better. Let me show you the pattern. If you are first time on my channel, oh, I love Mirabilias, you know, you know how much I love Mirabilias. And um, so in case you are new, you can see this is the chart and 
I stitch from the original. I did not make copy because I got this chart uh, at the store in 2016, and I thought uh, the time uh, I'll stitch a couple of mirabilia, and that that will be it. But um, then I uh, fall in love with them, and now I collect charts, so I had to buy another one just to have it in my collection. But it's okay. It was very special for me to stitch this design because I don't usually stitch from the original copy and it's very very <laughs> special anyways she's done all the beads are done it, it it was the best part to stitch beads because there are not ton of them uh, just enough to enjoy and uh, actually a little bit disappointed I wanted to stitch a little bit more beads because lately I don't stitch uh, as much mirabilis as before I don't stitch in general I I somehow don't have so much patience anymore for cross stitching because lots of things going on in my life. Then uh, when I learn French, I'm exhausted and I want to do something uh, different and just sit in one place. That is why I don't have much time for cross stitch and um, also have friends and uh, Ukrainian center I spend time there working out all those stuff. Anyways, let's look at the final result and I hope you will enjoy it with me and maybe I will see some missing stitches as I usually do when I show close up. So if you remember my previous videos, I told you that I stitched here with the Krennic uh, one, not one over two, but two over two, which is kind of put me in a doubt because Nora Corbett don't usually do that um, and it was my mistake because uh, they should just require in the chart two skeins of uh, Krennic but I don't know where I was flying when I was reading an instruction and uh, I stitch it the way I stitch it and I actually like it so I run out of Krennic and I order another one but I did not order the Krennic I ordered the same color but it was blending filament and I stitch it four over two because it's much thinner I'll show you so you will understand what I'm talking about and there are some uh, holes right here but I have to just fix it with the needle so don't mind it it won't be able you won't be able to see it after and uh, yeah after ironing when you stretch it's good but I think it's the iron made stitches a little bit loose but when you stretch the fabric it will be all okay and of course the skin the skin uh, honestly speaking I don't like uh, the way uh, I it's much better in person it just camera make it like worse I don't like in general my not petite in my, my, my crosses there because I don't stitch as much they are not as pretty anymore but it is what it is I have to work on it and go back to cross stitching slowly slowly but it's not like I had a big break I just don't stitch often I love her face it gives me some headache to make it right and uh, under every corner she looks different uh, I did not write the year when I stitch it but it will be definitely 22 23 because this was a start of previous year and the finish of this year so let me show you the cranic I was talking about, um, which is blending filament. Obviously, I stitch her skin with the silks, which I promised to share the conversion, but um, might well do it on Instagram. Oh, I did show on Instagram on stories. Can't remember. I was not prepared very well for this video, but if you have questions, I better will uh, send you a picture. Um, so this is a blending filament this is not a clinic and it's very very thin thread this is two of them oh, what I'm showing this is two of them and uh, just compared to regular clinic number four yeah number four this is the difference it's you can see I was like oh my god I had to go and order again but then I like why would I order again I can just put few of them few uh, threads and uh, stitch it as it is. This is how much clinic you need for the mirabilia. You can see on leftovers, so everything is fine. In this case, uh, threads, uh, you have enough DMC. I used leftovers from my previous 
Um, Mirabilis, it's always transferring from one box to another one, which I don't have all the colors of DMC now. Some of them are in Ukraine. So, and the beads. This is this box is from 2016. I was like, I need to stitch it because these boxes are annoying me. I don't keep uh, beads anymore in, in this kind of containers. I keep them in a, um, either this kind of packages or I keep them in a special boxes from the organi bead organizer. I can't remember the name. Uh, this is beads. That, these beads are not from the Mirabilia. I don't know how they appear here, but uh, yeah. I love these ones. It was so much fun to, to add them to the Mirabilia. And uh, yeah, I had enough of everything for this design. And obviously this red and um, Saju needle, my favorite one, um, which I use for my beading. Um, I think that's it about this Mirabilia. I don't want to talk about it forever because it's not the first time you see her. <laughs> Hopefully not the last, because it will give you some updates of my results of probably two years. Last year I did not stitch much, so just... Or maybe I just will show you some finishes, my past finishes. Maybe we'll do this kind of videos. video. Okay, let me show you another finish, which I'm so proud of. So proud till I can't explain to you. Mirabilia I unexpectedly finished so quickly, I did not know it will be that fast. but. To be honest, there, there was a stopping point for me because I had to rip off the petites. It's the worst thing you can ever imagine to do. But um, yes, I had to finish her just to have a finish and uh, empty the organizer. So I can put my other whips there and start in finishing my whips, which I made like, what, 20 of them now? Anyways, this design, this is a story of my life. Window shopping, as you remember. I think it's the most difficult dimensions in my life because either I stitch it too slow or it's really complicated one. But also I had uh, a mistake here. Um, I think because my mind is very busy and I'm, I'm so stressful. I was so stressful that time when I was teaching it. So the background you're supposed to stitch all this yellow, supposed to stitch with the half stitches. I stitch it with the crosses and only a few of them I, I stitched with the half stitches. So <laughs> I think that design was stitched forever. I thought, okay, this is the last, the last day <laughs> I'm going to finish it. And it's been like two weeks. It's like little by little, little by little, because I was very busy traveling, um, going to uh, volunteer and other stuff. And so, Finally, finally, I can applause to myself that this is done. But I love this design and it's another um, part of my collection because I collect Mirabilias, I collect Petites uh, and uh, Gold collection dimensions. And uh, these are leftover threads, tons of them. And as you can see, so many colors compared to even Mirabilia. Mirabilia has double, but Mirabilia is bigger. This is uh, the sign how difficult it will be because for this tiny design you will use so many threads and then different kind of uh, backstitch and uh, yeah. Very unusual for uh, Dimensions old, uh, old collection because this is which year? It is 2003. So let me show you quickly closer and then we will continue. I write here a year. As you can see, tons of backstitch and different colors, different everything. I was surprised this was not a coaching, but Yeah, I love it. Anyway, it's something I'm proud about. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. I have done it. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, 
we are done with that. So, got another news. So I met my friend Rika. I'll leave you the link for her channel if you don't know her and her Instagram. And uh, she brought me my scissors, which, um, when did I buy them? Before the war, for sure, because she brought me them to uh, Berlin when where we met first time. And then, and then I could not take them with me because I uh, had um, only carry on luggage and uh, I had to travel to another places. So that's why I could not take them. But, uh, you know, I also collect such scissors and have tons in my collection. And uh, this four of them, there are boxes, of course, which just came with, I've got uh, this time, but they were purchased long time ago. And I'm happy they finally with me. They're beautiful and um, it's quite comfortable to work them, with them. But this is mostly for the collection, not for uh, daily work. And this one you can definitely work every day, as long as you don't, uh, if you take care of it, uh, them, uh, if they don't fall often, they will last you for quite a long time. And this is more Christmas edition scissors. And um, this one I really love. I always wanted the sun. And I will show you another one also very similar, but they're a bit different. Um, I'll show you the difference. And the heart. Well, to me it's a heart. I don't know what it is in real life. But these two pairs, to me it's quite similar, but they are not. As you can see. But I love them both. They are amazing to work with. Really are. And they can fall. <laughs> Nothing will gonna happen because they made of steel, I think so. But um, the the ages are different. I prefer this one than this one. It's a little bit different, but kind of look the same. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm really happy <laughs> with my new scissors. So. Now Mirabilia, let's go back to Mirabilia. Obviously I finished one, I had to start another one. And I doubt myself which one to start. So I have a choice before the new Mirabilia comes, uh, Luda. Yes, I was surprised. It was like, oh, no way. I was really shocked. I was happy to see the new Mirabilia. And um, so I've got these three, which I can start almost immediately but uh, this one I don't know if I have fabric for this one is the smallest one which is to be honest well kind of smaller maybe this one is a bit bigger but less to stitch I don't know because here I can see lots of uh, threads uh, changes but I don't have uh, bits for this one but I can start I think I will find the fabric for this Mirabilia this I would love to start anytime, but she's a bit bigger and it will, I won't be able to stitch my other designs, which I need to finish. Well, not I have to finish them, but I would like to start something smaller because I obviously plan to, st to start uh, new Mirabilia, which is, was never in my plans, but this one I brought from Zaporozhye to, um, I kitted her from my stash because I had beads, I had everything for her and I have different kind of fabrics. I brought them all to understand on which one I would like to stitch her. So I'm kind of thinking, I'm in between this one and this one. But who knows, maybe I will start the other one, but she's a bit bigger than I, I'm plan I, I did not plan this year to start something big, but I already started uh, Lunarte, but it's easy stitch and it's going so fast. So yeah. We will see which one I will start. And um, yeah, I hope to see you soon with my updates and with my news. Um, let me know in the comments which Mirabilia would you like better. Of course, this one you have seen here many, many times stitch, this one less. So I don't know. <laughs> Thank you guys and see you. Don't forget to subscribe my Instagram because there you can see 
uh, more pictures, details, and we can chat there uh, better than here. It's L. Barnard 1307. Until then, bye. So now you see my gorgeous Mirabilia, and I'm almost halfway through because I have left, as you can see in the picture, uh, just to stitch her head, her um, uh, beautiful flowers in her hair, and if you look like this, it kind of looks like I stitch almost more than half, but there are still bits over here, not much of them. The skin I stitch a little bit slower than <laughs> crosses, and also I think uh, over here I will have to change thread quite often. But I was a bit worried the design uh, so busy and uh, it won't look great on this fabric. But thank you, thank you so much to all of you who helped me to choose, especially to my friend uh, Jules. Hi Jules, if you're watching my video, and for my other friend Elena, they were like, okay, this is the last people I'm asking, because when I made the post on Instagram, I made the previous uh, part of the video, then I thought I will upload it, and I upload it, I told you I screw up something, but um, then, then I made this decision, and I'm really happy with the fabric. I will use another part uh, because I cut it so it will be easier for me to stitch. This fabric I will use for another Mirabilia, maybe similar. Um, obviously, size will be the uh, same. I was thinking maybe uh, I will stitch her newest, smaller Mirabilia, also just the face and the flowers. We'll see what uh, this fabric will be good for. Maybe it's some new designs Nora will create for us and I will use this part, but I'm happy that uh, two pieces now <laughs> I will be able to use um, one piece of fabric for two designs instead and um, yes, that's cool. So I will show you her a little bit closer and um, yes, I will be happy to have her um, done soon because I only stitch her. Also, she will be great uh, looking together with English roses. It's kind of the same size and uh, Luda from, uh, I mean, the new design, but for her, I don't know which fabric to choose. Anyways, so I have done a skin uh, two over one uh, silk conversion and uh, yeah i was really worried also that the design will be going slowly and i don't need anything like i will be stitching another half a year like aphrodite and no this design completely different first of all my favorite colors second of all it's smaller design and um, i kind of miss stitching mirabilias i'm i'm really i'm hungry now <laughs> <laughs> because you know how many I stitched before and um, I kind of feel myself now back to stitching Mirabilias. I don't know if you have familiar uh, feeling, maybe you love stitching um, samplers and you stitch now something different and it's going slowly, go back to samplers. <laughs> you will see, you will be completely back on track. But. Look how gorgeous it looks like. I, I can't st stop staring at it. <laughs> and I'm happy I started here now because I was thinking to stitch Luda first and then I obviously have to wait for all the supplies longer than you do in the United States. And uh, I'm going away now for, I don't know, two, three weeks. We'll see how long it will take. But uh, then then I won't have any Mirabilia till that time. I'm like, no, no, I have to start. Uh, this one will be her um, pair design. And it will be great because I'll have two instead of one. <laughs> and yes, so I did not have the original Krennic for this uh, design. I have tons, oh no, sorry, Krennic, um, Karen. I thought I got everything, but this 244, I could not find it, maybe. No, for sure, I don't have, because I brought to here all my silks, all my mandalas, all my um, cranics, not all DMC, which I regret. This time, I, I hope I will bring more. And um, yes, so I could not find it. 
And I, then I look for my other threads, sometimes uh, very rare, extremely rare. I see some uh, good uh, deals for just random silks and I said to myself, mm, maybe I will use in my smaller design sometimes. Just then I, I, I don't have enough uh, DMC and I just look, oh, this green looks like DMC, whatever number is, I'll use it. And this is what I do many times also in my Mariposa from Mirabilia. I did not have one color and I did not want to order, wait for it. So in this case, I don't think it's really visible that it's different. Although let's see, it's slightly different. I check online how it looks like the color. And you know, this variety of green and blue also, you know that Caron, they dyed their threads also different. Let's say I will have two um, skeins now, they will look slightly different, sometimes dramatically different, sometimes similar, very similar. But I'm happy with the uh, thread I chose and uh, yeah, save a little bit of money <laughs> because if I go uh, now to Casa Chinina and order one Karen, I will add a lot of other stuff, which is uh, unnecessary for now. And um, and then I will end up with another hundred dollars <laughs> spending on cross stitch, which I'm not planning to do it. So you can do the same <laughs> little bit trick for you. Because look, it's just uh, leaves, they can be different color. Also, my fabric is different, not the, I mean, not that big difference. It's darker a bit, but it's pink on pink. I mean, kind of the same. Um, yeah, so well, I'm just, I can't wait to take a picture right now. I'll end up video and I'll be taking pictures, tons of pictures. <laughs> because I really love the, uh, the way it popping up and uh, that I'm like how way through <laughs> can you believe so thank you for watching me again subscribe my channel so you won't lose me and uh, we can always chat on Instagram in case you need some advice I try to reply now um, probably to all of you because it's not like before I had like in one morning I wake up I had 50 messages and like, you know how, many, how much time I have to spend to answer all of them? And I have tons on requests. So now, because I don't make video often, I'm, I'm even happy to answer to all of my messages because it's like very rare I have questions now. So go ahead, ask me everything you want to. Sometimes I can reply in a video. Okay, guys. Bye. See you. So these are both samplers from... Uh, Zaporozhye, not samplers, this is more like a, a towel, 1930s. It was bought in the villages of my city, um, my region, Zaporozhye. And this is made on linen, and this is made on another fabric, which is heavier. And uh, as you can see, oh my God, this is like both sides. Mm -hmm. So, so there is a lady who is buying them from all over Ukraine and keep them in the family, but now it's in Belgium. Thank you for joining me, Thank you. Merci beaucoup.